Okay, so I've been in this new house for about three and a half weeks and something did strange happen when we moved in, about a week after we moved in to be more precise. I got um, given something which is very unusual. Basically what happened was I went out to friends for a barbecue and uh, came back later on in the evening back home to find this outside my front door. Now what was originally in this was water just filled with water and a goldfish. Not just that, not just as bizarrely enough as that, I got a letter or a note rather with it. How it came about was uh, walking down the street uh, towards my front door, found this with, outside my front door on top of this. Um, it was a letter and it says, Dear tenants, please, please, please look after my baby, Betty. Through my neglect, her lover, Barry, killed himself. And there's also a picture with this, and it says, Barry, the dead fish. See here? And then the little note there saying, Barry, the, the fish, dead. Nice of them to take a photo of a dead fish. This has proven to me how much of a bad parent I am, and I hope you'll be able to give Betty the love and support she deserves that I cannot provide. So we got the fish. Fish still alive. Fish is fine and healthy. We got her a little fish bowl thing. Only a cheap little thing because I'm broke at the minute so I had to get the cheapest thing I could get. She's just about there somewhere. Um, I hope it's big enough for her. We used some garden pebbles to try and make, make it a little bit more interesting for now. Finding a goldfish outside my front door. Probably the most bizarre thing I've ever had posted to me. Um, and I have had bizarre things posted to me. I once had peep, well, half pizza through my letterbox and someone written biro in it, hello. And then the next day we had a packet of pasta sauce, like Domier's pasta sauce posted. So, like I said, I have had bizarre things posted to me before, but the fish is definitely the winner so far. You would have thought, yeah, got the fish, looking after this fish, that would be that. But no, uh, last week I received in the post this um, envelope, and uh, I'm just covering up the um, the address because obviously I don't want to attract any stalkers. Uh, so there we go, post stamp there, picture of a fish, and my address thing. What is it? It says, Dear Tenant, obviously my street name, Lincoln, because you all know I live in Lincoln anyway. So it's actually posted through the post box to us, you know, via the postman, whatever. Um, obviously when I saw that fish symbol, I thought it was going to be some weird Christian church thing, like telling us, like, you know, maybe welcoming us to the neighbourhood or whatever. Um, and that they'd be asking us to join a church or do something Christian, basically stuff that I wouldn't do anyway. And so we got with that a letter. Now this letter's a bit long compared to the last, last one I got. This time there's no pictures. I won't read it out to you because it is quite long and I don't want to bore you. Um, but basically, someone's written um, as the fish's mother, and it's a really bizarre story. I'm going to post a blog on it, and I'll link the blog to this video when I've done it. Um, it's, it is really weird. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And um, it's signed, yours sincerely, Beatrice Bobblethorpe, seven rocks to the left, behind Pearl Lane, centre of Crab Street, Mediterranean Sea, Spain. Obviously, handed this letter to some of my friends, and they've been reading it. And think that there are clues in it, or it's like some kind of weird riddle. Like, for example, there's a reference saying, "For my birthday, which is, by the way, the fifth of May, fifteenth of May." Hint, hint. So I don't know if that's meant to be hint to a clue. And there's also a bit in here that says, "Oh, where is it?" Um, I hope one day she'll come to understand my reasons for giving her to you, and perhaps one day when she is ready, she will decide to track me down on facefish.co.uk. Tell her to find me under Beatrice Bopplethorpe. I don't know if the name's meant to be a clue or this website, fish, fa oh, facefish.co.uk, is meant to be a clue. I don't think it actually exists though. I don't know if it's just someone having a joke or whether there are actual clues to something or whether me or my housemate have some weird um, stalker person or, or it's just some joke from the new neighbours. So, yeah. There's no website. I was just asking if I, if any of you had any of these kind of bizarre things happen to you before. Let me know, you know, comment down there, video response, anything. If anyone can just give me some kind of help <laughs> or comment or something about this really bizarre thing. 
because I really do not have any idea what to make of it. I really can't think out of all my friends who could have done this. So it is really weird. And I don't know how many times I can go on about how weird it is, but yeah. So if someone can, so yeah, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe. Comments would be very much appreciated because this is the most bizarre thing that's ever happened to me. And it'd be nice to know that I'm not the only one that has these kind of bizarre things happen. So I'm going to go now and, I don't know, feed the fish. Bye!